Solstice of Heroes 2021 is here, and it's time to celebrate the summer vibes as well as get some great new loot, including the Solstice of Hero armor sets. Today I'm going to go over the objectives for the armor sets so you can quickly level up your Solstice gear and really look the part for those celebrations. Now if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. If you enjoy this week in video games content, consider becoming a channel member by hitting that join button down below and getting some exclusive rewards. Well, Eva Levante is back in the tower, so Space Grandma is back, plus we've got the European Aerial Zone activity back too, which is a zone just off the European Dead Zone, specifically designed for this summer event. So have a chat with Eva Levante in the tower and pick up that introduction quest, and then do a few runs through the EAZ, which can be launched from the node in the tower. Head back to Eva and she'll give you the first set of armour. Well, throughout the Solstice of Heroes 2021, it's our job to level up our armour through various activities around the solar system. So we've got five pieces of armour, so head, arms, chest, legs and class item, and each one is going to have a series of objectives. So this ranges from activities on a certain planet, for example, complete lost sectors on Europa, or you can pick up orbs of a certain element, for example, picking up solar orbs. Or finally, something like getting precision kills. There's a mix and match of objectives on each item. As you go up through the ranks, these objectives are going to get a little bit more difficult and time consuming. So each class has certain objectives and they are different between each class. But today I'm going to go through the objectives so you can use this as a quick reference guide and get those objectives done nice and fast. Before we get into the armour, there is a mechanic that should be noted for the Solstice of Heroes, and those are the elemental orbs. So each day, there's a featured element, for example, Void, Solar, Arc, or Stasis, and by killing enemies with either subclass, abilities, or weapons matching the daily element, you will generate orbs. So these are going to be required for a few steps of the armour objectives, so it's worth pointing this out. They don't hang around very long either, so if you see an orb, you better run and pick it up before it disappears. Well now, I am going to run through each class and the objectives. So at the time of making this guide, the final set of objectives was unavailable, but what I'll do is update them down there in the comments section when they become available in-game after Tuesday the 6th of July. Well first of all, let's start out with the Titan, and this set is called the Titan Sunstead Armour, and that is renewed, and that is the blue set. So first of all, you're going to complete a lost sector on the Tangled Shore, collect solar orbs in free roam on any destination, and defeat combatants with precision damage. You've got to complete patrols in the Cosmodrome, and in the European Aerial Zone collect elemental orbs that match the daily element, and defeat combatants with super abilities. Complete public events on the EDZ, collect arc or stasis orbs in strikes, crucible or gambit playlist activities, and defeat guardians in crucible or gambit. Although I reckon crucible will probably be easier as you've got more guardians there. Next up is complete strikes, crucible or gambit playlist activities, open solstice packages and defeat Hive, then you can find the Hive on the moon, and specifically the Altars of Sorrow, that's going to be a really, really good activity to defeat loads and loads of Hive. Finally, we've got complete the European Aerial Zone activity and collect elemental orbs, and then defeat combatants in the European Aerial Zone while matching the daily elemental burn. Well, next up, we've got the Titan Sunstead Armour and the Majestic, so this is the legendary set or the purple gear, so complete the Altars of Sorrow on the Moon or Blindwell on the Dreaming City. Collect Void or Stasis Elemental Orbs in Strikes, Crucible or Gambit playlist activities, and defeat combatants with Void melee abilities. Next up, complete public events on Europa, collect Solstice Armour from the Solstice packages or European Aerial Zone chests, and defeat combatants with Solar weapons. Next up, complete Nightfall Strikes or competitive PvP matches in Trials or Glory playlists, Although Glory is probably easier, as that is a little bit more available, so 7 days a week, 24-7 too. Next up, collect Solstice Package Keys, and defeat combatants with Arc Grenades, and then finally, complete Lost Sectors on the Dreaming City, collect Arc Elemental Orbs in the European Aerial Zone, and defeat Powerful Hive, and again, I would recommend the Altars of Sorrow, or you could do Strikes too. So the final objectives are missing at the moment, but what I'll do, I'll update those after Tuesday the 6th of July. Well, next up, let's check out the Warlock. So we've got the Warlock Celestine Armour. This is the renewed set, or the blue set. So, so first of all, we want to complete patrols in the EDZ. Then in the European Aerial Zone, collect elemental orbs that match the daily element. Then defeat combatants with super abilities. Well, next up, complete the public events on the Tangled Shore, and collect void or stasis orbs in strikes. 
Crucible or Gambit playlist activities. Then defeat Guardians in Crucible or Gambit. Then complete Strikes, Crucible or Gambit playlist activities, open Solstice packages, and then defeat Cabal. And defeat Cabal, I would go to the EDZ or Nessus, or even Battlegrounds. That would be really, really good for Cabal. Then you've got to complete Lost Sectors on the Cosmodrome, collect Solar Orbs in Free Roam on any destination, and then defeat Combatants with Precision Damage. Then finally, complete the European Aero Zone activity, collect Elemental Orbs, and defeat Combatants in the European Aero Zone while matching the Daily Elemental Burn. Next we got the Warlock Celestine Armor Majestic, so this is the legendary set or the purple gear, so complete Owls of Sorrow on the Moon or Blind Well or the Dreaming City, collect Solar or Stasis Elemental Orbs in Strikes, Crucible or Gambit playlist activities, and then defeat Combatants with Solar Melee abilities. Complete Lost Sectors on the Moon, collect Void Elemental Orbs in the European Aerial Zone, and defeat Powerful Fallen, so I'd say Lost Sectors on the EDZ are really good for that, or you can go to the Cosmodrome. Next, complete Nightfall activities or competitive PvP matches in Trials or Glory playlists, and then collect Solstice Package Keys. And then finally, defeat Combatants with Void Grenades. Next, complete Public Events in the Dreaming City, collect Solstice Armor from the Solstice Packages on the European Aerozone Chests, and defeat Combatants with the Art Weapons. And again, the final objectives were missing at the time of creating this guide, and I'll update you down in the comments after Tuesday the 6th of July. Well, finally, let's have a look at the Hunter objectives. So we've got the Hunter Illuminous Armor. That's the renewed set or the blue set. So complete Lost Sectors on the EDZ, collect Void Orbs in Free Roam on any destination, and defeat Combatants with Precision Damage. So complete Patrols in the Tangled Shore. In the European Aero Zone, collect Elemental Orbs that match the Daily Element, and defeat combatants with super abilities. So complete public events on the Cosmodrome, collect arc or stasis orbs in strikes, crucible or gambit playlist activities, and defeat guardians in the crucible or gambit. Next up, complete strikes, crucible or gambit playlist activities, open solstice packages, and defeat fallen. So Europa is really good for fallen or the Cosmodrome, or you can find them on the EDZ too. So complete the European Aero Zone activity, collect elemental orbs, and defeat combatants in the European Aero Zone while matching the Daily Elemental Burn. And next we got the Hunter Illuminous Armor Majestic, so that is the legendary set or the purple gear, so complete the Altar of Saw on the Moon or Blind Well on the Dreaming City, collect Arc or Stasis Elemental Orbs in Strikes, Crucible or Gambit playlist activities, defeat combatants with Arc melee abilities. Next up we got complete Lost Sectors on Europa, collect Solar Elemental Orbs in the European Aero Zone activity, and defeat Powerful Cabal, so again, EDZ, Nessus, or I would recommend the Battlegrounds activity. So then we've got complete Nightfall Strikes or competitive PvP matches in Trials or the Glory playlists, collect Solstice Package Keys, defeat Combatants with Solar Grenades. And finally, complete the Public Events on the Moon, collect Solstice Armor from the Solstice Packages on the European Aerozone Chests, and defeat Combatants with Void Weapons. And the final objectives were missing, and I will update you down in the comments on Tuesday the 6th of July. So once you complete these objectives, you'll have your fancy new Solstice of Heroes 2021 armor sets. However, there is one more step, and that is to add glows to the set. This is optional, but they do look really, really cool. And you will need to step into in-game activities like raids, master nightfalls, and competitive PvP. But the glows are pretty good, so I reckon it's worth it. So these are instructions for all classes, and this is the Magnificent set. So previously, each armor piece had three objectives, and the final step only requires one objective per armor piece. So first of all, we've got Defeat Champions or Defeat Guardians in competitive PvP, so Trials or Glory Playlist, to enable the Armour's White Glow. Completely Nightfall on Master or Grandmaster difficulty to enable the Armour's White Glow. And then complete any raid to enable the Armour's White Glow. And then finally, we've got Complete Legend or Master Lost Sectors to enable the Armour's White Glow. Well, that is pretty much it, and I will update this guide further down there in the comments once we know the objectives in-game for that Majestic Armour. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the armor, the event, and do you think that armor is worth the grind? Also, do you think we need to mix up the event, or do you like the EAZ coming back each year? Well, that is it for this guide for how to upgrade the Solstice of Heroes 2021 armor sets in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.